Hello everyone, this is Helen H. and welcome to my channel, Moss Cottage. I hope you all are doing well. Today I just wanted to really quickly show you the two-page layout that I started working on in my last video in my glue book. And then I have a super little idea for a mini glue book that and anybody can do super easy. So anyway, so this is the page that I was working on and this is the finished page and I have to show you one page at a time because this book is just enormous so I added uh, these two little buttons here that was something that I did and then I outlined the word joy with a goldish kind of pen to make it pop a little bit more and then the other page that goes with it is this one right here and so I used a lot of the same types of paper and everything. Here's my joy down here, and this is stamped on. But I've got one of these mushrooms here, this darling little girl. Now she came from the same collection as the other girl on the other page, and I used the butterf that big butterfly behind her. And then this is actually a piece of fabric that a girlfriend gave me, and I just cut out this green leaf and put it on there, and then I have a butterfly there. So I'll see if we can't see two pages together, kind of. That's probably about the best I can do. So this is the two two uh, page spread that I did, and I promised that I'd show the completed pages. So that's that, that's my big book. Now, not everyone wants to work in a big book, and I don't always want to work in a big book because sometimes you don't have the time or you just want to do you know, a little something something while you're watching videos or TV or something. So, I was at the Dollar Tree the other day and I found this. And it is a 2022-2023 uh, planner. And I thought, well, wouldn't this make a cute little glue book? I mean, it's really tiny, and if you go somewhere, this would be easy to tuck in with just a glue stick and some papers or something. So what I did was I went ahead, and this slips right out of its little plastic cover. And just to save some time so that you didn't have to watch me glue everything, I went ahead and I glued this marbleized paper on the inside here. And on the back inside, I glued this. It's still a little damp, so it's it's creasing a little bit. I glued this kind of uh, watercolory paper there. But the the cover's okay. But that's not what I wanted to use. So I went ahead and cut some papers. I I measured this, and for some odd reason, it is the weirdest measurement. And I kept cutting too cutting it too small, cutting it too big, whatever. So I said, forget it. No more measuring with the with the ruler. I just went ahead and stuck it on the paper and, and put a little mark and cut it, and that worked better. Now, it doesn't reach all the way to the end, and the reason why is I'm trying to use up some of my scrap strips, but we can get around that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, and let me see if I can use this uh, foam and poster board glue from Dollar Tree. I'm going to go ahead and glue this on the front and then I have just glue on the back and then I have something over the spine and that'll make up the difference in the size and then if I have time I'm going to actually work on one little page in there and I thought you don't even have to go out and buy this if you already have one of these that's expired you know that this is the last year or last year was the last year and you just for some reason never got rid of it or you find one at a yard sale that's like not not uh, a pretty one that you want to use the way it is a checkbook register even a checkbook register w would probably work um, as a matter of fact I do have a journal that I was doing following with cat hand this one and all the pages in this one is made from a checkbook register so that's also an option oops my stickers getting stuck to that okay this glue <clears throat> it comes out very well so you have to kind of be careful but I do like it because it really holds and you know this one because it's got a plastic cover this little booklet because it has a plastic cover you know, if you don't get it stuck down 100%, it's not going anywhere because the little plastic cover is going to keep it, uh, keep it from falling off. So 
let's go ahead and get this on. And this, this page on the back here is just actually a piece from a craft magazine. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is cruel work. It's like big stitches. It looks like big wool, you know, the, the big type wool. So I'm going to put that on. Now I know from the front, from doing the insides that... Where's my scissors? My measurement was a little bit off, just a tiny bit. So I'm just going to go ahead. My cover was actually a little bit too big. So I'm just going to go ahead and trim it down. No big deal. All right. So that's that. And let me just check the front cover also. The front cover is a piece of uh, scrapbook paper, but kind of like a boho look. And again, it was a tiny bit too long. So... I'm just going to cut that off. And the reason I'm, I'm being a little fussy about cutting it off is this little book was tight in the plastic case as it was, so I don't want it to be any tighter. Look at this thing. Look. Does that happen to you? Why don't I see? I don't see this happening to other people, but it always happens to me, and I'm not sure why. What am I doing wrong? I mean, it's glue. What, what can you do really wrong with glue? Okay, now this is not coming out now because this is an almost empty bottle. Oh, great. Okay. Well, that was bound to happen, right? So what I'm going to do is switch tactics here and go with the sticky thumb that I got, I think, at Tuesday morning. And this works, this works well. It just doesn't hold quite as quickly as the beacon glues do. They, they grab pretty quickly. This, this sticky thumb <clears throat> works, but you have to hold it, I guess like at the other PVA glues, you just have to hold it a little bit longer. But again, I'm not really fussed about it because after I get this on, I'm gonna stick it in the book, in, or in, in its cover, and put that down at the bottom there. I'm gonna stick it in its little plastic cover, and it's not gonna, it will actually help hold hold it on while it's curing okay so that putting that little spine on like that and it's like a what the spine is it's like a faux wood a scrapbook paper but the the tan color of it matches this perfectly and it matches there's kind of a little bit of tan in here it matches that one well too so so there i've just made a cute little cover for it and this is what i was talking about if the cover's not on there a hundred percent yet because the glue is not dry it doesn't matter because I'm just going to go ahead and stick it in here and then stick the other the back side in here like this whoops well I don't want to tear it I be careful here that I don't tear the plastic I'm tearing the plastic here not you want to go there we go there we go okay so this is going to be the front and then that will be the back but there so i have a little glue book made out of a really cheap little calendar pocket calendar so what i wanted to do was to do a little page and what i've got here is some scraps from my scrap uh scrap box or not bag it's more like a bag that I have just scraps and things I've got a lot of these pieces that I really like of this these came from an embroidery book and I that might be cruel or that might actually be cross stitch I'm not sure but I thought I'd use some different patterns of this stuff and I am going to should I tear them or should I just put them on Let's see here. Should I tear it or should I just put it on? Should I put that on at the background? Uh, these pages are very, very thin. So you may want to glue two pages together. Maybe I'll just go ahead and do that because these are ultra thin here. These little calendars are, I think, are just meant for your purse to look at the dates or just mark one or two things down. I would not recommend a Dollar Tree planner like this for your planner where you're going to write a lot of stuff. So I'm just gluing that and then I'm going to stick it two pages together just to make it a little bit thicker. There we go. That should be good. 
and that should just go ahead and make my two pages a little thinner. There we go. Now, I, now I'm better to work on it. I think I'm just going to go ahead and cut some pieces. Or let me see, is there something that I can put down? i got to start somewhere. Just start. Just put something down, Helen, for crying out loud. This is paper, again. It's, we're not working with, you know, platinum and gold and diamonds and whatever. We're talking about scrap paper <laughs> and a cheap little planner. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that down there just to give me somewhere to start here and if I lift this up here I need to find something to put in between okay here's a here's a piece of trash I'm just gonna put that in between so that I I mean that's kind of annoying put it this way so I can see where the end of the paper is alright so I'm gonna put that down and then this is kind of too white. I don't want that. This is some of the paper that's on the inside of the back cover. So let's just go ahead. And remember, gluing, gluing on a, a glue book is supposed to be relaxing. So just take your time. Do what you want to do. I'm just doing a quickie page for you to show you that you can use a cheap little Dollar Tree planner and hopefully you know hopefully you already have something like this laying around that you don't even have to buy I mean it's a dollar right but still there might be something like old checkbook I know some people don't even use checkbooks anymore I rarely do but that but I do there are still some places that I do use a checkbook for but rarely but some people do not use checkbooks at all. All their banking is online. If that's the case, then use those old registers and make yourself a little blue book that way. So that was just a little cut off of the front page. And I'm just doing that there to cover the little piece, the little gap between this and the inside there. And I can see I've gone over with that. So I'm just going to go ahead and snip that off. If I can here, have to go this way, I think. Okay, like that. And what else do we have? We've got some. Oh, this is this paper from the front, but actually, I'm thinking, do I want to use? Oh no, this is cute. This is kind of. This would actually kind of bring a lot of stuff together. But let's use a more organic shape for that. Let's do something like this, but I want this end torn too. Let's do something like this. And then I, you can always trim the ends off. I'm, I'm not going to be concerned about that. I can always trim those ends off. So let me go ahead and glue this one on. But this is, this I think I'm going to use some sticky thumb because it's a thick card, thicker card stock. If it's like I said, I've, I said that I think a million times with my glue book pages. If it's paper or magazine, I will use my glue stick. But if it's cardstock or something heavier, I would prefer to go with a PVA or wet glue or the beacon glue just because it, I think it holds the heavier papers a little better. Okay, and I know this looks like a hot mess right now, and hopefully it won't by the time we're finished. Okay. So we've got that, like that. Now, I have also this strip here, which is kind of cool. This, I think, is a pattern from a needlepoint book. This is, I guess, you look at this and then you would know how to count out this cross stitch. I think that's what that is. So I'm just going to cut it out. And this was a beautiful cross stitch book. The only thing is, you know, there's so many of them, and, and I bought a huge box of cross-stitch cross books at an auction, really good ones, but my intent was always to just cut them up for, for art and not for, you know, not for anything else. I, mean, I don't cross-stitch or anything. Okay, let's see. Where do we want to put some of this? Well, let's, let's maybe... Let's just go ahead and put some up there. I don't want this to take too long because 
instead of watching me do this, I want you all to go run around and look what you've got at home, in your home, that you can use to make yourself a mini little glue book. And you know, I, do you remember iCAD's, I, um, what is it, uh, index card a day, where the point was to, uh, the point was to do a little piece of art every day, even if it was just for a few minutes, and so they, they, Develop iCads index cards a day in the little roller decks or whatever the little index card books so that it would force you to make some art every day so that you never kind of fell out of it or you know whatever so this is kind of like that this is kind of like an index card a day you could use the little mini glue book say every day I'm gonna do one page you know no matter how quick or how long it takes you or if you do you know on the inside you do a two page spread or whatever but wouldn't that be fun to do a page a little page in your glue book I mean you could write one word to define your day like wonderful or not so great or you know whatever you could do all kinds of things um, to make it fun and let's see, I always like to do things in three. I do have a focal point coming in sometimes, so I do want, let me see, I'm going to go ahead and tear this very small and just kind of put it maybe in the middle, like maybe there. Okay, let's just do that. You don't have to have a word. You don't have to even have a focal point. The, the piece itself could be just colors you know just different papers just like that you know whatever you wanted to do okay so my focal point is going to be one of these cute little post-it notes that I got a long long time ago I know I have a video on this this I got this from um oh gosh what is it uh it's one of the Japanese sites I cannot remember the name right now if I can remember I will put the link below I mean, I know I can remember. I, I have to just look it up. When I get really dumb, when the camera starts rolling. So she's really cute there. I'm just wondering, should we... Oh, no, that's the same paper. We can't use that same paper. That's too bright, and that's a cat. We don't need a cat. Do we want to frame her to put her on there? Or no? Let me see what that looks like. It's going to be either a yes or a no real quick. So let's see here. Probably going to be a no. No, it's a no. No, no. She's just going to go on there. She's just going to go on like that. Look, <laughs> I've got a piece of paper all stuck in my glue here. Now she's got a little bit of glue on the back because she's a post it note, but um, and I want her a little bit offset there, like that. like that okay you know what I'm gonna call that done I, I may put a word on her I don't know let me see if I've got anything else I could put on her I've got this little box of bits and bobs on my desk let me see if there's anything else I want to add really quick that's cute that's a little birdhouse right there little donkeys no she doesn't need a donkey I've got some painty paper that I could put on, but I don't want to make it too terribly confusing. I've got some black and white paper that I could put on there. No. Oh wait, what's this? I've got these cute little, I guess they're little tags. Oh yeah, maybe I'll put I'll put one or two of these on. These are kind of cute. These are just little tags with flowers on them. Let me just see. I've got a couple of different ones here. I kind of like that one. I don't really have yellow, so I don't want to introduce another color. I actually like just that green one. I'm going to go ahead and put that on. See, if you have a little box like this that's bits and bobs, go through it because you never know what you're going to find. Whoops, to find that you can add to a page. So I'm just putting that there like that, like that, and let's see. I do 
do have some of this. I always like this paper fringe, you know, from the edge of where you've ripped paper out. But, you know, I don't want to get too fussy. I could go through here and pick all kinds of stuff out here and maybe make it too complicated. And the point is to show you that you can do just a little bit of art really quickly in a day. So there you go. That's my little glue book right here front back and then that was the inside back cover and that's the inside front cover and so just remember that I did go ahead and glue two of these pages together and it is pretty you can hear that now it's pretty hefty with this paper on front the two pieces so maybe tomorrow I'll go ahead and work on the back page and I'm going to try work on this every day until I get it filled up so guys I hope you like my little book and I might even go back and decorate the front a little bit more but right now I'm more fussed about getting the inside done. So I hope you enjoy this. Go find something that you might have that you can do the same thing and play along. Just make some art every day. Guys I hope you, that you like this video. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and until the next video I hope you're truly blessed. Bye bye.